A children's book about being lazy by Joy Berry. Help me be good. A children's book about being lazy by Joy Berry. This book is about Sam and his sister Maggie. Reading about Sam and Maggie can help you understand and deal with being lazy. Have people ever asked you to do something they could do themselves? Sam says, get me something to eat. Froggy thinks, can't you do it by yourself? Has anyone refused to help you when you needed help? Maggie says, Sam, please help me. Sam says, I can't help you right now. I'm busy watching something. Froggy thinks, you better watch out. Sometimes people might ask you to do something because they are being too lazy to do it for themselves. Sometimes people might not help you because they are too lazy to help. People who are not willing to work are being lazy. Maggie says, you are not too busy to help me. You are just too lazy. Froggy thinks, yeah, I don't think he likes work. Drip, drip, as mustard drops onto Froggy. When you are with someone who is lazy, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? Sam says, hey, change the channel. Froggy thinks, I'm getting ready to hop out of here. Maggie looks frustrated. When you are with someone who is lazy, you might feel frustrated, angry, and resentful. You might feel the person expects you to do all the work. You might not want to be around the person. Maggie says, you're no fun to be with. You're too bossy and too lazy. Sam looks at Maggie, huh? Froggy thinks, and that goes for me too. It is important to treat others the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to be lazy around you, you should not be lazy around them. Sam says, would you like to play? Maggie says, no thanks. Froggy thinks, no way. Try not to be lazy. Do not ask anyone to do anything for you that you can do for yourself. Get things for yourself whenever possible. Sam says, it's fun to do things for myself. Froggy thinks, and that's not being lazy. Try not to be lazy. Keep yourself clean. Bathe yourself. Wash and comb your hair. Brush your teeth. Dress yourself. Decide what clothes you are going to wear. Put them on yourself. As Dad walks by, he sees Sam and says, Good job, Sam. Froggy thinks, And then we need to put on your socks and shoes. Try not to be lazy. Keep your room neat. Help keep your house neat. Put things away after you use them. Clean up any mess you make. Sam says, first I'll put my toys away and then I'll make my bed. Froggy thinks, that's right, nice and easy. Try not to be lazy. Help out whenever you can. Here are some jobs you can do. Set the table for meals. Clean the table after meals. Help with the dishes. Empty the trash. Pick up your toys off your bedroom floor. And pick up your clothes off the bedroom floor too. Sam says, I wonder what else I could do to help out. Froggy thinks, let's hop down and ask your mom. Taking care of yourself, cleaning up after yourself, or helping out might not always be easy. Sometimes these things take work. Sam's walking out to the trash can. Oof! 
Froggy thinks. Not being lazy is sometimes hard work. Try to have a good attitude about your work. Do not complain about it. Do not wait to be reminded to do it. Do not try to get out of doing it. Do not put it off until later. Sam says, Now that my work is done, I can play. Boink, boink. Froggy thinks, I know, let's play hopscotch. These things can make your work more fun. Play this game with yourself. Set a time limit and try to get the job done in that length of time. Be sure to give yourself enough time to do the job correctly. Reward yourself. Promise yourself you will do something you really enjoy after you finish your job. Be sure to keep the promise you make to yourself. Mom, thanks Sam. Thank you for getting your work done so quickly and pats him on the head. Froggy thinks, yeah, he really hopped to it. You help the people around you to be happy when you are not lazy. You also help yourself become a better person. All right. The end. A note to parents about being lazy. Being a parent should never be confused with being a servant. Waiting on children hand and foot only creates resentful parents and children void of self-motivation and resourcefulness. It also robs children of the delight and fulfillment that comes with personal accomplishment. The purpose of this book is to teach children how to avoid being lazy by taking care of themselves, cleaning up after themselves, and helping others. In addition, it teaches children how to maintain a positive attitude about work. Reading and discussing this book with your child can also teach him or her how to respond when he or she is being unfairly inconvenienced by another person's laziness. Helping children concentrate on the outcome of their work, rather than on how much effort it requires, is an important step in addressing laziness. Another important step in is turning work into a more pleasurable experience. Acknowledging and or rewarding accomplishments is also crucial to raising a child who pulls his or her own weight in the family and community. Thank you.